Okay. Now we've got a closed hole. We got a dead snake. Golden. Well, I like to do an arcana check on the doors. Go ahead. They're open. For well, yeah. Before they get open, they're like slightly ajar. Before they get opened all the way, I just want to do an arcana check to see if there's anything going on we should be aware of. Detect thy magic. Thirty. You're pretty confident there was a ritual on here at some point, uh, bearing warding and shadow magic, but this is just faint residual traces of something that has been defeated. Right. Are these so kicking doors like or pull out uh, doors? To carry the stores. All right. Well then. Those after you pull doors. That makes sense. All right. Okay. Open the doors out. I'll, I'll be hopping to the. Uh, go get like right a couple now. like these big rocks and prop the doors open. I'd like to be farther. Why back, would you do please? that? I don't know why I'm always going to this place is like really dark, right? You're not up front. What are you talking about? You jam rocks um, underneath the door. Good. Better yet, no, can I see anything? Open. Since I do have dark vision. Oh, you have dark vision. Okay. Well, um, unfortunately, you don't have see-through solid rock vision. But if you'd like to go down to this foot, these stairs here, you can peer into the main chamber. So nothing until the first landing. Well, I mean, just standing where if you kind of crouch down and look, you can probably see into here. But bear in mind, this is stairs going down 10 feet. I'll let, stealth let, into there? Yeah, let her stealth before we go in. Yeah, let, yeah let sure, why not? Do your thing. I'll stand up top. Why did I keep going on uh, 19? Okay, so you have a, uh, a 19 stealth check. Mm -hmm. Well, you're being quiet. Not quiet as you can be, but quiet nonetheless. You see there is an inner chamber here. It is highly circular, about 50 feet in diameter. There are two large statues made of stone. The one on the western side of the chamber is of uh, obviously a devil of some sort, a winged fiend bearing a large trident. This over here appears to be some sort of two-headed hound. There is a spiraling staircase ascending and the most prominent feature is a circle of magic runes in a dimly purple glow on the floor. Uh, go back to my Pretty party decent. and consult with them. Uh, oh. All right. Uh, so you so you tell us nothing's going on up there except for this purple stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. So is the purple giving off light? A faint amount. Like dim light adjacent to it? No. Not even Enough to where you can make it out, though. Sure, I'd like to sneak up and get a peek at this without going clo too close to it, just, you know, where she was. Sure. To the top there. All right, you, you kind of crouch down at the top of the stair. Go ahead and make a stealth check if you would like to. I sure would. I can't prevent you from being stealthy. Huh, I have a 19 as well. Do you now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll do an arcana to see if I can identify what this is. Go ahead. 22. You're not quite sure what it is. It's very powerful, you can tell, though. Uh, I will definitely back away at that point. You, you think it's actually a, a little at a higher level of skill and knowledge than a 22 would gather. Well, I will uh, back up and be like, whatever that is, it's a whole bunch of we don't want to mess with it. Um, at this point, there's some strange sounds occurring from that chamber down there. Yeah, I will be I will be stealthing back up the stairs away from the chamber. That is exactly what I will be doing. Was that a sucky sound or a blowy sound? Kind of both all at the same time. Okay. Dude, defender, weak. Not going up front. Why don't you go up the stairs? I'll go back then. If he's not gonna go forward, I'll go back. Okay. There is a creature of some sort being summoned through this magic ring. This massive beast appears as a two-headed hound composed of shadow and smoke with flaming eyes. Klaus, you are first. <laughs> Can I see it? Oh, beg your pardon. We have a surprise round. Klaus and Asha. Um, Actually, no flavor. ready uh, Eldritch <laughs> Okay. For if anything comes to that? range. Okay. Round one, Klaus. I'd like to uh, standard action, full defense, and then move three squares back and make a stealth check. That's what I'd like to do. Wait, actually, can I just move? Because I don't want to yeah, lower my initiative. 
Next, it is Monster's turn. You see this thing come up to there. It's pretty freaking wicked looking. There's sunlight coming in through here. Okay. So that'd be bright light and then dim light in there. Okay. Um, Asha, do you have concealment from your shadow walk? You do? Okay, then you can remain hidden. You, however, are seen. And it is um, is using a beckoning gaze on you. This targets your will. 23. Oh, God. That is going to pull you in, and you are marked save ends. Next is a, um, a biting attack. 22 versus AC. Hit. Whoa. You take 13 damage. One of the hound's massive heads bites you fiercely. It clamps onto you and it drags you down to the ground. You are prone to Not prone to Next up is Asha. Shadow drag against it. Um, 16 versus its AC. The monster blocks that attack. Watch her. Shadow strike. Well, and as my miner, I wanted to curse. Attacks for okay. you going downstairs, right? Before I moved in. Yeah, it's different. No, I can't deal curse damage. You guys are both the same exact thing. Yeah, I told her how to do it, and she did it. Well, that's what you get for playing the same character. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Well, I said I was making this. I said I was playing Are you guys, like, in league? Together then, since you're the be. same thing, huh? I would imagine you are. She didn't want to be. What? Yeah. You both. Well, I'm in an assassin's guild that's down with Zaheer. Like that's my character. I'm evil. Maybe you both trained in a similar place, but then went to separate ways. Like you had a, a falling out. You were like Zaheer for life, and she was like, No, I can't be friends with you anymore. I don't have friends. I'm a changeling. I'm more into shadow stuff. Watcher, what are you doing? Waiting on y'all to quit talking. I'm waiting on you to step your ass down those stairs, you pansy warforged. <laughs> Watcher, it bit me, make it go away. That guy leaves. <laughs> I have assessed the situation. Probability for success is 30%. Odds not suitable for me. Departing promptly. Peace out. Well, if I saw him go, I'd just I'd follow. I'd be like, mm mm. <laughs> this is a shield faint. Uh, uh -huh. And he got his AC with high ground. Uh, 17. Since he's a large size, you do not have 16. High ground. Cool. Action point, do it again. Oh. 20. 20 versus AC? Yeah. You hit. Shield faint? Yes. <laughs> you actually put in a British gun thing. <laughs> Pissed off right now. <laughs> I'm experiencing anger. 14 damage. <laughs> All right. And uh, the res when my hammer hits him, uh, the resounding uh, energy that comes off of him boom, whoa, whoa, actually uh, bumps him back up to the ground. Interesting. Um, Yay, the bar is not on his button, on his bumper. Hey, that's cool. Way to go. Good stuff. Hammer. Yeah, fun stuff. I did not. Conjuring out of the dim violet magic circle, you see two creatures form. Their bodies are little more than what looks like uh, wispy shreds of coalesced darkness and smoke. For faces, they just have these expressionless white masks and they have these ghostly pale tendrils of hair, manes of hair swirling and floating in the air behind the masks. They are oddly silent, and they just stare on as they approach. My character looks at her and thinks, friends of yours? Seamus, your passive perception is 19. You catch an indication that this thing is actually coming through the wall to right there. Object. You can make an opportunity attack. I will give it cover since it's coming out of the wall. Do it, Par do it. Partial cover. Your hair goes through its um, ghostly tendrils. Your weapon goes through its ghostly. What type of weapon do you use? 
Uh, a longsword when I'm weaponing. Your longsword passes through its ghostly mane of hair, and it is attacking you with this deadly mane. Combat advantage. That is a 23 versus AC. You take 5 necrotic damage. Responsibility to, to Watcher, it. this one here is attempting a similar tactic. Let me roll its stealth check. Total failure. You two notice indications of something coming through the wall. <laughs> no good? Okay. Though, it is actually wrapping its... This is what happened last time. It's actually wrapping its ghostly hair around it's, this one here. Do you want some wine, right? You need a beer, 17 versus AC? Should I? Really Me? Seamus, yeah? yeah? You take another yes. spot. Let me you out. Okay. <laughs> I will take beer. How about that? Okay. It is your turn, Seamus. You are marked, save ends. Monkeys? <laughs> Monkeys! I'm going to use what is um, known as the Staggering Note. Uh, it's a ranged attack? Yeah, no, they're all, it's okay. You wouldn't do that with three guys. Uh, Watcher, are you a fighter? Yes. Are you using combat challenge? Yeah, I told you I challenged the wolf. Okay. And the guy that he opt. Okay. Can you do that? Wolf, wolf, wolf. Yeah. Oh, of course. Wolf, You're wolf. not a hybrid, are you? Oh, so I get to op attack this guy because I op attacked him, marked him, and then he attacked him. Yes. True. Come on, that challenge. Make some editing fun. Oh my god! Holy crap, it's in one. I even have a plus two or attack on this guy. <laughs> Whiff. Here, use this one. From here on out. That one's better. Uh, nah, get out of here with your dice, son. You bother me. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, staggering note. So, uh... No, no staggering note. It's three off attacks, bro. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hack my way out of here. So, I'm gonna longsword this guy that actually did hit me. And, uh... 16 AC. That is turns into a fourteen, and that is a miss. Fourteen for what? Marked. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Next up, it is Klaus. Uh, dingo okay. Daddy. Nice, Charlie. Ain't uh, no dingo. Move me up six, and I will make a stealth check. Three, four, five, six. Stealth. Uh, I have a twenty-eight stealth check. And you get shadow walk concealment. Mm -hmm. Okay, that works. They are unaware of your presence. Okay. Um, I will do... It's just a crack in reality. I, too, will do... <laughs> shadow Strike. I will throw my shuriken at the wolf. Mm -mm. That's cover. Open a path for us to get back out for retreat. Let's I have a 23 at the wolf's AC. So, 23, you put your... That's a hit. Okay. Your shuriken strikes true into, um... I don't know. The smoky wisps. Uh, 15 damage uh, to the no. wolf. Okay. And I get to make a stealth check to remain hidden because I will have concealment until the end of my next turn. That was that. That is a 28 as well. And yay for combat advantage, by the way. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I'm still hidden. And the wolf has suffered 15 <coughs> Monster's turn. Okay. The uh, shadowy hound monster... Bites twice. Once at each of you. I make an op attack against it. It has to get back to your turn to refresh your immediate action. That's true. It's, a, it it's the, not an opportunity, it's immediate action. Right, but no, I thought it was when the round starts over. Did the round start no, over? No, when it gets back to your turn, your actions refresh. Here is a bite at you, Watcher! It still takes the minus two. That is a 16 versus your AC. It bites onto your shield and nothing more. Now against you, negative two for Mark, 26. Seventeen damage. Oh, that's not good. Heavy close you are dragged two. down once more. I almost did. That's a lot that's of damage. Crazy. It's got a lot uh, this of thing damage. basically disappears into shadow. Nobody can see where it went because, well, it's just really dark in there. Is there anything I'm ever burning toward? 
You have an air burning torch? I do. Oh, okay, That's even why better. I was asking about lights. You see it reappear there. It basically melds into shadow and then reforms there. And when it comes there, your ever burning torch goes and the light just smothers out. No arcana check for me? Um, as a standard action, you can make an arcana check to relight a ever burning torch. Are you trained in arcana? You have to be trained. You can't manipulate magic with no training in Arcana. Are you I plus am. one? Me too. <laughs> I'm trained. If you're not trained in Arcana, you can make Arcana knowledge we're checks. Really you have to be Arcana trained to actually man. manipulate Arcana. magic. Okay. And not just spending five minutes on the character building. Can I, <laughs> can I see those at all? Uh, they would have superior cover from where you are. Okay. If you want to step up to the stairs, that'll be a difference. A different nugget. That's good. Clean shot or clear shot. Clear the way, reverse hug. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. That looks like a hit to me. The shuriken hits into the center of this strange masked apparition and it disperses. Watcher's turn. Hit the minion. Yeah, I'm gonna attack minion here. Dude, seriously? God. <laughs> Monster. It is a little uncanny. Uh, first of all, uh, you have this thing marked. It will attack you, O oh Watcher. That is a miss. It's sneaky hair. Does nothing. You just sidestep it. Stealth check. Success. Attack with combat advantage. You are hit. 35, or... <laughs> Whoa, buddy! <laughs> 30 is the attack. Is my character not the right level for this? Is that what's going on? You take 5 necrotic damage. I thought you were going to tell me that's what the damage was. It's no. Like what? You take 5 necrotic damage, and this is a charge attack. Hop it, Seamus. Yeah, actually, I can. Yeah, hey, he can hop. And you're gonna roll high. Yes, I am. Actually, negatives to that. Like, which uh, we're looking at like a twenty. We need to see if you save from the mark. Roll your save. Huh. Save, save, save. You hit. Ooh. It does not make it to Watcher. You strike it down. From the ground, son. Yes, Seamus. It is your turn. Oh, actually, as a free action, you can stand up when I hit it. Oh wait, that's you. I didn't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Minor. Wait. Majestic. I am not everybody. <laughs> majestic word. <Not> a quick. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Spring pops out of your head. <laughs> uh, stand up, Or attack him in. Majestic Word if you actually lets me slide a to brain and Majestic Word lets me slide myself too. Okay. You Majestic Word yourself. Alright. And then, uh... Stand up. Swing alone. Stand up. Everybody's marked to you, right? <coughs> um, just that one. Empty. I'm gonna beat on the one that's uh, in the alcove there. Okay. Ah, uh, finally. 21. Yes. Your uh, long sword cleaves through this wispy, long-haired mask so thing. So all we're missing down here is light. Okay, it is Klaus's turn. Well, I'm still hidden, so I would like to do a. Uh, Take my torch and put back on. Oh uh, no! I'll do a sly flourish at this one here. I have combat advantage, concealment. Oh, yeah, you yeah, sly yeah. fox, you. So. Well, that's a twenty-three. And it's AC. Even with concealment from dim light, your shuriken disperses this pale masked thing. I will move back three squares and make a stealth check. Isn't that great? Unseen force, 27. Stealth check. <laughs> Unclean pork. Un <laughs> Unseen force. Dude, if this hasn't been on the character optimization discussions, then it definitely needs to be. Charlie Sheen's porch. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I stepped out of line with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too soon. Too soon. Wait, you're multi class warlock and you don't have arcana? No. 
And she has a 14 How intelligence. How do you know magic without being trained in Arcana? Uh, because you're not automatically trained. I don't know. There is some redundant training. Like, just for being a shade. I like. guess, if I think about it, of all the arcane classes, the warlock is the only one that makes sense exactly. to not actually have, have training in it. Because you got your power from something else. That's why you just so signed the pact, mm. and you got its power. Well, from You're like a cheater, wizard. From, <laughs> from practiced sneak, yes, I got training and stealth. So. It's okay. Your character is valid. She has plus eight. Um, deep panting. <laughs> it is Asha's turn. Giggle. You lost your pants. So. <laughs> it looks like you're soloing this thing because you're the only one here with dark vision. I could use the I could perception check to attack it with a negative five. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a good idea. <laughs> no, I'm fighting in the darkness. <laughs> Against the soldier. Hey, you know a close burst attack doesn't have any penalty. You're just like. <laughs> you just hold your weapon out and spin in circles. <laughs> Said it, no, that's what I'm he doing. said it teleported away. It did. Yeah, let's make it to where it can't like teleport up here. I'll stay in the front. The Seventeen versus its reflex. It dodges out of the way of that. Twenty-two stealth. Twenty-two stealth. Okay. Duffy. So just to give you the insight, um, what I'm doing here is your shadow walk. I'm saying that that beats his dark vision because it magically conceals you. But if you were hiding in just like regular shadows, that wouldn't do anything because of his dark vision. You could use cover. So being at the top of the stairs in an alcove behind a wall or a statue. Well, it works because of the cunning. That side. would also work. I'm using shadow 